the internet, this is an ad read. But it's a fun ad read because it's for a product I actually use. One that you've already seen me use. Foundry VTT. Foundry isn't a game, it's a virtual tabletop with support for over 100 role-playing systems. For Adventure is Nigh, we use it to play D&D 5th Edition. As a DM, I can import maps, make walls and doors, set dynamic lighting, then invite my players to control their own custom tokens, which means they get to actually explore my game in real time. Yes, those game boards that you see in the episodes, that's Foundry VTT. The reason we can all play together even though we live around the planet from each other? Foundry VTT, all those virtual dice rolling natural ones. Foundry VTT. Only one person in the group needs to buy Foundry, and it's a one-time purchase that gets you access to all future updates. And there is no software necessary for your players. That's right, once you're hosting, Foundry can run through a web browser with easy links to send to your players and customizable settings for running on grandma's old Apple II. This is a virtual tabletop that is built on modern and dev-friendly software, which means that you can create your own content or browse through the amazing amount of add-on modules to run your games exactly how you want them. Foundry's active community and dev team means that even a dummy like me is able to troubleshoot any problem and learn how to build amazing scenes to impress my players. Head over to foundryvtt.com now to learn more. Hey there, Internet. Welcome to Adventure is Nigh, Season 3, The Liar, The Witch, and The War Torn. We are here in scrumptious Milwaukee in the pungent comedy sports theater. Wow. None of those are good descripting words. Uh, live and in person with all of my lovely players, including Jesse Galena. Oh, that's me, and I play Grinderbin, who was not ready for this jelly. Hey, C. Wosu. Hi, I play Sigmar Iceblood, who uh, will be happy to actually meet Albert for real, because he was really questioning moped sanity for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Campbell. I play Davarella Yeetsta, who is very, very excited to uh, just make some new friends. And Yahtzee Crowshaw. And I play multiple Rafflesworth and Wynn Smythe, who also wasn't ready for the jelly, but he's down for many things <laughs> if you buy him a drink first. <laughs> Last time on Adventure is Nigh, uh, the gang uh, found themselves in the actual Destiny's Keep, uh, in the first kind of uh, airlock of Destiny's Keep in the painted room. You were able to... Uh, use some magical abilities to talk the painted man, the guardian of Destiny's Keep, into bringing one of his masters to you, which happened to be Betty Ticklepuss. After some heated words and some calm explanations, Betty uh, believed you uh, and discovered that Albert had been turned into a shovel. After some more back and forth, some more backstory revealed, you went to speak to the patriarch of the Tickle Pusses, only to discover a heaping mass of ooze, skeleton, and jelly uh, pouring over old memories. And that's where we left it, with Oob Florentine getting wrapped up in Papa Tickle Puss's arms and sharing memories of whatever Florentine was. And that's where we left off, and that's where we're going to start right after, I think, we get to be live and in person, thanks in no small part to Dice Envy, our exclusive Dice sponsor for season three of Adventure is Nigh. It means we have to do math, but it's yeah. worth it. Yeah. My first D20, y'all. Oh! <laughs> Wait, ever? That's your first Thanks. D20? I've, I've never owned any of these nerdy-ass dice, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you do. <laughs> Thanks, Dice Envy. 
Okay, so uh, here you are in this room uh, as you see Latavia kind of take in Ud, uh, Ub Florentine and uh, kind of uh, talk about the memories that Ub Florentine has acquired. I assume from the body that Ub Florentine was chewing on when we first found him. And, and as right. he is kind of like siphoning that, that uh, stuff, he, he puts uh, Ub Florentine down uh, and, you know, gives you all a little nod and goes back to his books on the floor. Can we see the, if the skeleton that was in Ub ha- has now like vanished or is that skeleton still in there? Uh, the skeleton is still in there. Okay. That's yes, just Ub. I'm, I'm, I'm curious how like this process works. I won't ask any questions at Sigmar yet. I was, I was just curious. Sure. So yeah, Ub Florentine kind of, you know, goes back, uh, you know, uh, goes up to all of you and just goes, hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. Hi again, Ub. Hi. Uh, and yeah, Betty kind of uh, takes a step forward, puts Albert down. So she, she kind of, you know, takes a, a step closer to Latavia, says, Father, I, I have some questions for you. And he's, he's, you know, kind of down on the floor and looking through these books and is just like, do you remember? Do you remember that summer we went to Florida? <laughs> what a lovely vacation we went to. The beaches were lovely. Do you remember? Yeah. Yes, Father, I remember. It was, it was a glorious summer. I have some questions, Father, about Albert. No, no. No. Uh, and he just kind of starts mumbling to himself and uh, looking over his books. Sigmar goes to where Albert is, picks him up and says, do you remember this shovel? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And, <laughs> and, you know, he looks up and back to his books and he's just like, he tried to take another one of my daughters away from me. We couldn't let that happen, now could we? Try to take my daughters away. Mortimer steps forward and says, that was a happy time in Florida. You Were all your daughters there? Oh, yes. Flor- what a lovely memory. All the family, my daughters, my wife. Beautiful time. You must have had many happy memories with your daughters. We were happy. Do you remember, Betty, when we were happy? Oh. Looking, just just pouring over his books and, you know, like the, the ooze tendrils, like, <laughs> grabs one. Oh, so good. Florentine had good memories of a family once. That, oh, that's nice. So I, want, I want to walk up by Betty. Uh, I, sh- I still have Albert uh, in my hand. What the hell happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> are you asking? I'm asking Betty. You're asking Betty. Are, are you, you asking, asking Betty loud? quietly? Sure. Like, uh, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, like, yeah, he, like, he's because he's, he's nervous. Like, he's kind of unnerved by the situation. So he's like going up to her, like, what's, what happened? The, uh, yeah, so you are trying to keep this from Latavia, is, I guess, my, my question. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Then, then I do need a stealth check. Oh God, he's gonna get a one and yell it. Plus six. So plus six, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, 17. 17, yeah, so you can you can whisper that quietly. Uh, as far as you know, Latavia does not hear you. And so Betty uh, leans over and says, the reason we've been banished from the castle is uh, my father used his foresight to try to warn Queen Beyonce of a, of a great danger and, and she, she would not listen. And so we were banished and I, th- I think he's now been a bit, a bit trapped in, in the memories, in the, in the past, in the good times. Mm. He's become slightly obsessed and by slightly he's turned himself into a giant monster obsessed with other what, people's what memories. Was, what was he trying to warn Beyonce about? Uh, that's probably not something we should uh, discuss right here in front mm-hmm. of him. Then maybe we could uh, Father, uh, th- uh, thank you for reminding me of Florida. We, we, we'll be, we'll come back. Yes, there must have been times when there were less happy memories. Oh, I remember leaving my home. There are only so many happy memories, aren't there? We need more. Well, there might not be very many more. 
Oh, Betty, where is Calandra? She always brings me good memories. Wouldn't you like to have another memory of your Betty being happy, sir? Oh, happiness, yes. Yes. Albert made her happy, Sigmar yells out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Albert, you must remember how happy Albert made her. Uh. He didn't make him happy. The, but, uh, ah! but she was important. Didn't you delight in every smile of your precious child, sir? <laughs> uh, at this, Latavia stands up in his, you know, jelliness. <clears throat> he would take her away from me like B took my home away from me. No, Albert would take her away from me. Albert would tear this family more apart. No! <laughs> Deborah Lloyd's just standing there. <laughs> Albert and Sigmar at this point. Uh, no, that was a very bad idea. <laughs> that was a very bad idea. Why on earth you got did the you wrong think we could reader, Kong out of this? I, I'm... Um, uh, what you, uh, what, what you see is Betty go, uh, Father, I'm still here. I'm still here. Look, look, Father. I mean, remember, do you remember when we would play Piggy Horse? There wasn't that a fun game. <gasps> Piggy Horse, that is a good game. And then and, and she is, uh, seems to be able to like settle oh, him down. Back down. Oh, you drew the Piggy Horse. <laughs> and he holds up a little picture of a Piggy Horse. You're like, oh, that that must be a real fun game. Like, oh. <laughs> at the back of your coat. Now. <laughs> <laughs> holding back towards the, the side of the room. All right, Betty. Something us to I back out. want to ask as a reminder: When did Grindabin tell us in the timeline about the items we got from Mall Cup Purse? A question for so the items you got from Mall Cup Purse. When oh, would you? back to the nightclub and studied them and was like, oh, this is this. One sure. thing I just want to remind everyone of is Mark Purse was a wizard obsessed with time and turning back time and we are currently being dropped hints about a scary Ooh. man who wants to put things back. Oh, that's all I'm going to say. Dabarella ain't that smart. Oh, well, that's a fair observation. Just something to consider, and bearing in mind, Mog Hupper said, do you know about Destiny's Keep? We lied. That's true. We lied. <laughs> we did. And, and I'm now thinking lied. we fucked up. I'm now thinking very deeply we fucked up. The thing is, this man has answers. The thing is, how do we get yeah. them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're all kind of locked in there. You'd be like, uh, I, I'm gonna oh, whisper to uh, Betty. Like that, that was good at calming him down. Do you think he might be open to, to like questions about people, other people? Like, I'm, if we could all leave this room, okay, we okay, can okay, probably right, talk right, without fine, whispering. Fine, 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 fine. I, I don't mean to set us <laughs> back uh, progress wise. <laughs> But I don't know if you've noticed the uh, mass amount of dead bodies attached <laughs> to him. That's, that's fair enough. Okay, yeah, let's, let's re- yeah, we can, back we can up and regroup. Just, get, just come in here. What's happening? Uh, right, more, pleasure to meet more you. Pen. Come on. Okay, I'm coming too. Don't, uh, Sigmar still has uh, Albert in his Yeah. Hand. Oob, come on, Oob. Hi. <laughs> do, we, do we really need Oob? Yes, I like Oob. Uh, I think Oob might be psychic <laughs> looking at to this guy. Oh, that's don't. true. Maybe, oh. Hello! <laughs> well, there he is. Um, Betty. He's here now. Betty, is Oop connected to your dad? Uh, oh, fair question. Uh, uh, no, as long as they are not physically connected. Okay, cool. Oh, but wow. he, can, he can transfer memories, so if Oop overhears us, then if they connect again, he'll know. Yes, uh, what? No, no, uh, no, 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 and Dabarella bends down, grabs like either side of the wooden spoon that Oob's in to like bring Oob up to face level and goes, Oob, when we go back in the room, is it okay if I give you a big, warm, friendly hug? Um, just so that you and I can be friends and then a little bit later I'll put you down so you can see daddy. Oob loves hugs. <gasps> Dabarella loves hugs too. Oob will hug your memories. <laughs> I'm not sure this is something you want. Is that the, is that the plan? <laughs> Puts him back down. <laughs> hey, moped, can you uh, can you kind of babysit uh, 
Uh, That's oob, a much worse idea. Boob over over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I think that could without, be trouble. Without touching him. <laughs> with, <laughs> without without touching him, sure. I guess I could go check that out. Uh, hey there. What was your name? Oob. Hey there, Oob. You come over here with me, but don't touch me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe just like do some races down the hallway or something. <laughs> I don't, okay. am not necessarily comfortable with this. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Oob. You no, don't touch me. Oh, okay, okay, oh, try to catch me. Okay, okay get. now they're gone. Yeah, Mortimer Soto Voce says to Be- Becky, Becky, how does this Oob eating memories thing work? Does it require damaging the person with the memories by any chance? Yeah, usually they kill them. Right. Uh, yeah, I think usually. Like but like that. is that like a guarantee? Uh, oh, I suppose like. Um, Sometimes you can, uh, it hurts people to take their memories. You're taking like parts of their essence, yes. The, and then they take them all, which kills them. Uh, in either case, you're hurting someone, yes. Sigmar wants to ask, uh, Sigmar asks her, you're not like complacent with this, are you? You know, it's, it's, I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's part of my life here. I don't um, hunt people like my sister does, um, but I, I live here. Um, I, um, but, uh, I'm sorry, you said your sister hunts pe- what do you mean? She, she hunts them and brings them back and then her dad eats them for the memories. Usually just the heads. Right. But, uh, who are they? Uh, if you ask my father, he has all their memories, he'll tell you exactly who they are. I don't like this. Yes, it's uh, very creepy. This is why I tried to leave so long ago, uh, and that's I'm fair kind enough. of stuck here, you know. But maybe there's something we can do here. I mean, you saw how he reacted when we brought up Albert. What if we could implant some good memories in your father? Possibly relating to Albert. Okay. What if we could plant more positive feelings about you getting together with Albert? Maybe that we could... He is terrified of breaking up the family. That is the thing that probably cracked him mentally is our family was broken up because B kicked us out of the castle because he predicted uh, some terrible things in the future regarding her and her husband. For, you know, the man took her away from us uh, is where he's coming from okay. mentally. Okay, I got two big things on that. One, what All was right. the prediction? It was a, a, a darkness, a, a, a literal like void of life. Uh, if she married Cheserick, there would uh, arise a quite literal uh, negative in life space uh, near the castle. It was uh, a horrible omen if she married him. Like, did it have like a timetable or like a reason for starting? <laughs> or like, what? What, was, what does it, were these prophecies dated? Uh, uh, yeah, dates like, it's corner. not like an Excel <laughs> spreadsheet here. It's <laughs> general vagaries having to do with her marrying Cheserick. Just making sure. Guys. Yes, and uh, I, okay. I don't have the gift of foresight that my father has, but I do feel that it's coming close. So was was that the last thing? Was that the last time he used foresight? Because it seems like he's only interested in the past now. I can only assume that he still has access to it, and that's how he knew about me and Albert. I don't know for sure, though. You've talked to him. It's not. Very easy to talk to him. Oh, quiet. You, you said that he's really worried about breaking the family apart. What if, if we can implant some memories, rather than having a memory of Albert pulling you apart, can we implant some memories of like growing the family? Like that oh. Albert becomes a part of the like family. Al- like instead of me running away, Albert lives here. Right. Yeah, that's I'm why just... I was curious, like why he'd see that as a negative thing, I... unless they them getting together is bad. Well, remember I was planning on running away with Albert. Mm-hmm. Yes, I mean, uh, running away from my father who yes, has been running away. Right. So, I mean, sure. so he probably saw that in his vision. And right. I can see now he he's turned Albert into a shovel. But I'm sorry if I'm being pedantic. Yeah. But you said that the reason she didn't want to be there was because he was obsessed with the memory hunting. So when did that start? Like, was it before? The memory hunting? Yeah, like. Mm. Oh, yes. No, he, so uh, immediately after we were uh, banished from the castle, uh-huh. a broken family, that's when he started 
uh, you know, Focus, like kind of focusing on the inward past. on the past. And then like, it, you know, it, it started off light at first, you know, just like, oh, let's look through these old uh, journals or whatnot. Okay. But then so he does still look more, to more, the more. future. So we, we, we need to get his mind off the past and into a positive, happy future. Right. With yes. his yes. family, with yes. grandchildren. Exactly. Oh. Okay. <gasps> right. Oh, yeah. Like an idea. Like, you know, you more Albert family. Yes. Ch- grandchildren. He's visiting them, making new memories. Playing. Okay. All right. But Skin it, goat, whatever that is. <laughs> what, what p- piggy, piggy horse. Piggy horse. Yes. Yeah. Piggy horse. Okay. I think we should let Oob take some memories from Albert. We'll have to ask Moped. Well, but we don't know what memories it's going to take. Like, is there a way to, to take specific She's, memories? While I yeah, am. No admittedly complicit in all of this, I don't uh, participate actively in any of it. I- a memory of the past could be a memory of what happened five minutes ago. I, okay, I think I got an idea. I think we might be brewing a similar one. <laughs> I've heard that Are before. Are you thinking yeah. what I'm thinking, <laughs> Dylan? <laughs> so I'm, th- I'm I, thinking. I have a very terrible idea, but go ahead. <laughs> oh, I want to throw a complete spanner in the works and just like, just be like, you know, like mole cut person. What's, the, what's, am, the, I, what's I, the deal with the black ooze? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> One thing Jack has said to us, a table aside, was there was ooze at the cabin that we didn't find. Mm-hmm. And my question is, you specifically refer to that as ooze, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's been <laughs> ooze all over the place that y'all don't uh, necessarily specifically referred to as ooze that was consuming things but leaving the bones intact. Weird. <laughs> Those are answers I think we could get, but after the other problem is solved, Maybe. which is, okay. and here's my dumb idea. <laughs> like like Yasi just said. Uh, we can implant memories from about five minutes or something like that, right? So what if we had Betty with Albert, who is a shovel, attempting to conceive a child and being sad that she cannot? That's Therefore, not it was it's not a good memory, but the, the solution to that would be for the king to reverse him so that they could have babies and then make positive memories. You're okay. saying she's meant to like fuck a shovel in yes. front of her who's dad. <laughs> yes. That she can't fuck a shovel. She can't. She's That's unable the to. Because like, ah, oh, I can't. So the king would have a vested interest in in looking into the future to see if changing him back would then solve the problem that's making his daughter I sad. I have a less fuggle. Fuggle. <laughs> I was, I, ha- I was gonna propose we stage a wedding in the next five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love I, this all. Keep going. Keep I was going. gonna suggest a, a less shovel fucking kind of <laughs> here. Episode six, the shovel fucking. <laughs> So, it's funny how this has come up before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm okay. just curious because no, because we need to leverage his his future sight, not right. not we, necessarily his. And another thing, we need Albert on his game here. We need Albert aware, and we need him really, really thinking about how happy he would be to be with Betty in this right. place. Yeah, the both right. of them, honestly, because Betty, Betty kind of is the problem, she triggered this by wanting to leave. Right. She needs to want to stay so that he can yeah. look into the, be tempted to look into the future and see that they stay. We also know nothing about Albert. Here's, here's my idea. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Grinderman knows lots of magic. Jesse, not exactly sure how this would work, but using the proper materials and spells and a spellcaster like Betty could create something that was artificial memory. Like basically trying to make something and infuse a thing you with- You want to make a homunculus. No, I just want to make a happy memory of Albert and Betty together. Like a snapshot, like a quick montage of like grandchildren, them hanging out, everybody having a good time. We can put those, and this is the extra buffer, we make that, we put it into magic stone or whatever. Then we give it to Oob to absorb. Well, Dungeon Master, if our magic users got our heads together, could we implant a memory into an object? Could, well, by a combination of, say, minor illusion, suggestion, whatever spells Jersey's got. <laughs> you want to go full inception, <laughs> clearly. Clearly. Uh, full Inception. <laughs> inception is just changing things around enough to spawn an idea. And the idea is that wouldn't it be nice to change Albert back so that my 
daughter would be happy. I want to say we workshop this, this is in front of Betty because uh, she's a magic user, right? Oh, well, absolutely. This is in front of Betty. Yeah. Is she listening to all this? Um, <laughs> Did she hear me tell her to ask her if she's trying to fuck a shovel? <laughs> Maybe not that part. <laughs> I guess that, that's the thing. <laughs> this is all out loud, I think. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, if, if, if part of this is out loud, if part of the round table is out loud, then all of it is. And so, like, she definitely heard you say, like, fuck, like, are you... <laughs> Mad. It's look. It's he's a not, ruse. The, the, you don't have to act. Look, I'm, I'll go in the other room. Look, he's <laughs> the, <laughs> do you, if you think the problem is people watching, then maybe you don't understand what you're asking me to do. Yes, I know this is Albert. He is the love of my life. But I will not try to. It's fuck okay. A shovel. It's okay, Betty. That was just on the drawing board. It's throwing, we're just brainstorming here. We threw it straight off. Betty, Here's the I'm idea. Really sorry, so weird. Please, <laughs> so continue. weird. It's so weird. I expect more of an Asimar. I'll be honest. With sorry, you. Albert. Don't I tried. Play in the corner. Uh, Please listen. continue, Mortimer. We want to create an image, and you can help us with this. We want to use your memories of Albert and your own happy memories of them to create an image of the future of you, the two of you, and your father happy together here with the grandchildren and new things and everyone pleased. I, 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 I think this is a wonderful idea. The process, as far as I know it, is kind of an, uh, it's either a grab bag or an all or nothing. And so I don't know how we can focus one specific memory. Because we're not actually pulling it from a person. We are, we're creating it. Right. To be absorbed. And how do we do that? Illusion spells. <sighs> what was that? We're going to find out. <laughs> 27 Arcana check. How are we going to do this? <laughs> can I do one as well so we can put all our heads together? <laughs> oh. I have, I, oh. I as oh. Jesse oh. have a few oh. ideas. My handful we, of shambling yeah. mound. So you're right. We could use that as a catalyst. I, I need, I need something from you. Like, I can't just, uh, I, I need any sort of idea from you. What does Jesse have here? I can't, like, yes, that's a good arcana check. <laughs> this okay. is batshit insane. <laughs> All right, so. I don't get... know if there is a mechanic that deals no, don't, with let's, inception. Let's do not think so. I have this is idea. actually very simple. Okay. Uh -huh. I mean, Betty, I'm assuming Betty's family knows how to animate shambling mounds. Although, I'm not saying this out loud. Okay, okay. Yeah, we, an we animate the shambling mound, and just as it comes to life, <laughs> we put like a little puppet theater minor illusion right in front of its face. <laughs> what the <laughs> Dep <laughs> Depicting all this wonderful stuff we've been talking about. Just a little TV screen. Yes. And then the moment we're done, we just go now and just slam a bag over its head. <laughs> <laughs> and then we feed it to Oob, and then we feed the Oob to Lavinia. <laughs> My 27 Arcana check says this is a great plan. <laughs> This is a great. Absolutely works. <laughs> I want to see this work, but uh, but we need stakes. Ooh. But we need stakes, and so okay. here's what here's what <laughs> the the issue uh, like the shambling mound. Um, those are mine. I've been. Yeah, I know. Okay, no, I've been. I've been. Oh, okay. Bear well, the lead on that I'm one. Sorry, I mean, but I I've been sensing that this void of life is eminent, and so I've been trying to stop it by sending them to the castle. I can't go near there myself. <sighs> is it time for full disclosure? Let's, let's get Albert first, and then we'll full disclosure. I've been trying to stop whatever darkness is going to happen, and uh, I've been sending them that way. The problem with the shambling mounds is they are of singular mind. You give them an order and they follow that. They have no memory, they have nothing. Perhaps uh, we can utilize Oob to extract a specific recent memory if we can time it just right. It will have to be one of us, though. Oob remembers his name. Oob, Oob is a thing. Yeah. I'm sorry, no, Oob is not a name. Oob is a, th a, a that little, the little thing in the bucket. Well, that is the name of the creature, not just that creature, of all of those creatures. Wait, it's, it would be like if I said mushroom. But but that means Oob, outside of things that Oob absorbs, Oob has memories. Oob can obtain information. No. Then how does it know its name? How does it say hi? 
It, that's it, it base it, it knows base things it probably retains a little bit of the information that it hears from uh, I have from things I have a much darker suggestion are you suggesting we use a befuddled old man like moped <laughs> I've just, just I I I'm not saying we do this I think when the situation is laid out moped may want to save his best friend no <laughs> You oh. can't ask Moped to I'm do that. I'm not going to oh. ask Moped to do that. Now that's some if, stakes. If the rest An of NPC you, you care about. I'm not going to ask Moped to do this. that. No, shut up. <laughs> 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 Would Toasty work? Because I can remake Toasty. Oh. Would Toasty oh. work? Puppet show on for Toasty. Yeah, that's exactly what we should be doing. Would we should Toasty be putting work? on puppet shows for gingerbread men. <laughs> to appease Would an elderly horror. <laughs> And we're going to make some fucking visuals of that. Hold on. I mean, Hold on. we we're gonna need oh. to define what life is in this world. Well, Toasty has an okay. We'll ask, we'll ask Betty. Like, what a sure. familiar, what a familiar do? Oh no, eighteen. Okay, 18? very high. At eighteen intelligence on okay. Toasty. Okay. Okay. Here's what Betty says. What a, what mm. a Betty. Mm. What a familiar do? A familiar would work, but if we don't time the memory right. extraction just right, that familiar could be significantly weakened. You said you can remake him, right? No, no, no. The essence of the familiar. Stakes. I have to give you stakes. The, I, I can't just yeah, like, can't give you a, a free beat. pass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so basically what I'm saying, I'm trying to build a mechanic here. Mm -hmm. right, right. Basically what I'm saying is um, how this will work mechanically. Well, I, like, I love this idea, by the way. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> You can put on a puppet show, you can feed the familiar to Oob or to, you know, uh, Papa, Papa Ticklepuss, whichever one you want to do. If you cannot time it correctly, we will uh, uh, permanently lower some of the stats, uh, signif uh, uh, specifically the intelligence stats of your familiar. Whereas if it was you or Moped, we would take away life force for your familiar, I would take away stats permanently if you roll poorly. Tabarilla, this is my serious this face is, now. This is my... Is, is there I, a chance I, Is there a chance that the stats don't go away permanently if she rolls high? Yes. Okay. Okay. So either <clears> we put <throat> Toasty through this, or no one else can shoulder the moral burden. I can talk Moped into doing this. <laughs> I don't like I don't like the idea of you talking him into it. It was your I'm idea. <laughs> no, okay, that's KC's Jeff idea for like dramatic down, effect. Crosses <laughs> her legs, crosses her arms and thinks, hmm. None of these options make me happy, and all of them make me really sad. And sad memories aren't one we want much of right now. No one, no one else is on board with the moped uh, version no, of this. Fuck Mark no. Moped fuck no. no but Mortimer is 100 percent practical, <laughs> practically minded. But if we can take, if we can use cinnamon buns, that's a, that's sure, a sure, sure, sure. But just like how there's a chance if there's a good roll, cinnamon buns is not affected. Is that does that also carry over for moped? Like, is there a chance? Yeah. Okay, just just want to put yeah. that out yeah. there. I just like I said, we are uh, we are quite literally inventing a mechanic, and so <laughs> I need to give it some sort of balance. That balance is either a, a living creature will be physically hurt. Or a creature that can't be I'm just be saying, you guys hurt. want an Emmy for this show? We let Moped take his chances. <laughs> <laughs> We're not yeah. breaking bad. Oh, here's the thing. Like, I want, like, if we can come close to killing an NPC that you all love, I am fucking there for it. Like, like well, thematically, I love the idea. Sigmar uh, does not want to do that. Un unless you can come up with some other bullshit. <laughs> we let it happen, and then everyone uses all their bullshit. I've got guidance. I can touch myself and give me a bonus to a dice roll. Like, we got to think outside the box here. I've, I've got grease. <laughs> it's not a helpful spell. But I do have, like, a uh, flash of genius for saves and ability checks. So, mm. like, I'd be happy to burn some of those for it. I can't use bardic inspiration for this, because that's just for combat, right? No, I, I think it's just d20 rolls. Any d20 roll. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I could <laughs> I could bardically inspire you all to put on a great puppet show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. That sounds extra useful for this particular yeah. thing. And uh, obviously, like, my performance is very high. Oh yeah, well, and by the way, like, that's the other thing of this equation is like how believable the puppet show is 
turns into another uh, aspect of this, but that's that's for that. Well, we need that's, Betty's help for that because we don't know what Albert looks like when yeah, he's got a shot. Yeah, only Betty and Albert know, and we're not using Betty's memories, right? Like, how are you going to convince this, this king? Is the, you are making up this bullshit. You <laughs> right. have to like, <laughs> No, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. If we use Toasty Cinnamon Buns, who does not know what Albert looks like... Betty, can you do illusion spells? Can you create an image of what Albert was supposed to look like? Um, give me one moment. I'm in a different menu. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never heard it called that before. I think, I think for, 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 uh, for stage performance, we oh. should actually play it a little bit uh, like um, uh, the, the Dead Island trailer, like start from the end. <laughs> like, oh, look at these happy memories of like your grandchildren. Uh, that's and then, like, good. You're getting yes. younger and, and that's it's, like, the good. person who brought him out. And then the moment of now where Albert's a shovel and none of this will yeah, happen none of that. Yeah, if I like Albert that. stays a I like shovel. That. Yeah, that's, that's probably a good dramatic reading. You're and ending can, on a sad moment. And I can base yeah. the image of grandchildren on the picture of uh, Chiserig the Third we've got. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I knew love, I, I had it this. when you started shaking your head. What yeah. I was say? I was this like, is oh, yeah. crazy bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this is our specialty. This is, like I said, this is so far beyond anything the Dungeon Master's Guide has ever prepared me for. <laughs> Psychic <laughs> puppet show is listed. <laughs> <laughs> What's in this book? Right? 320 pages of the Dungeon Master's Guide. Nothing has prepared me for a psychic puppet okay, show. <laughs> Jack, just tell us what roles you want us to do so I know yeah. who to yeah. inspire. Okay, now in a succinct manner for a good edit point, <laughs> okay. someone lay out the plan for me. I, a, uh, get, we need, can, can she make an illusion or drawing, if she's got good drawing, of what we know what Albert looks like? I mean, I have my memories of, of, Albert is a young man. Uh, I can uh, uh, alter self. I have that spell. Uh, I could oh, can she can show us then. I could alter myself to uh, reflect my memory of Albert, yes. And then we, we know what that is and we can put that in the thing. Then we start from the end where you have all the people and they're together and they're happy and then you're gonna move backwards. You're gonna be thinking about de-aging them and then all the way back. <laughs> so we do that and then you end it on with the you as you and Albert as the shovel standing before and like about like a flash of bright light to show turning into the shovel, turning a, a, out of a shovel is what starts this whole process. And then all of this needs to be watched by your gingerbread man. Yes. And then Oob needs to suck the memory out of your gingerbread man. And then my father must suck the en the memory out of Oob. Yes. That's the plan. Yeah, perfect. Have you ever heard of the dark wizard Rube Goldberg? <laughs> <laughs> because this sounds like some crazy ass bullshit. We are bullshit veterans at this point, lady. <laughs> And so um, uh, she she uh, you know pulls out uh, her magical focus and casts uh, uh, alter self on herself and you uh, what you see uh, yeah, do we get to see what it looks like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have young Albert is what I okay. will say. Oh, okay, I have. Not to spoil anything, I have what Albert would look like if you were able to transform him back into an Asimar. Um, okay, so she looks, she shows as young Albert. And so yeah, she transforms herself into young Albert. So should she cast Alter Self on herself to make herself look younger now yeah, too? Yeah, you need that too. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I guess. Okay, so then she casts another spell, two spell slots gone. That's useful information for later. Okay, well, let's uh, build the scene. Okay. <laughs> Mortimer, like, starts the mind, starts building the minor illusion. Okay. Uh, and, and I'm sorry, uh, Cinnamon Toasty Buns is there watching. <laughs> Yeah. Let me, let me I'm scene. at a point where I just want to let Dabarella be the one to do it. Like, she, like, I, oh. <laughs> You want to have the memory sucked out of Dabarella's head? You can always Leroy Jenkins it. <laughs> So we've got the backdrop uh, that we'll have uh, Betty and I standing next to young Albert and, they've, and they're holding clasped hands together and they look so thrilled. Yes. And then we'll have a child run past them that looks like the child in the picture we oh, found. Oh, sure. It looks like 
genetically they could conceivably be absolutely um, oh and two. and yes and they they scoop up the child and it's yes. like a, it's a hallmark loving family yes. moment absolutely and then there's like a, a f- like a sort of a flash of light maybe sort of a interstitial image of a clock with the hands turning backwards <laughs> absolutely <laughs> visual, nice, visual yeah. aid uh-huh. yes. yeah we're like going the, back like the moon's going backwards yeah, in that yeah. rotation yes. then it's Betty when she's pregnant. Oh, so, uh, young uh, young Albert yes. is so thrilled and putting his ear to the, to the belly, and they look so happy. Uh, roll me roll me a performance check. Mm. Anyone want to enhance my rolls anyway? I I cannot help you. Uh, I I'm can't. enhancing my it's, arms. It's, it's I'm not, not a save. <laughs> Give me performance. Oh, thanks. I got all my this bardic inspiration ready for everyone else. <laughs> um, eleven. Okay. Okay. Great. So pregnant Albert yeah. is there. Yeah, no and then like. Uh, um, Time runs back again. Yep. This time we're in the room with their dad, with her dad. Okay. And, he, and he's a shovel at this point. And but then there's a magical flash of light, and he turns into young Al- young Albert, and they look so thrilled again. Oh. Okay. Okay. Great. Another performance check. <laughs> well, big money. I'm 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 augmenting with uh, with Betty's performance. Okay. Ten. Oh. Oh. Okay. A ten and eleven. Interesting. And then, and then another one, one more flashback, oh, and then yeah. it looks to Betty looking sad over the shovel. Ah, okay, so you've told a complete story now, yes, is yes. we could have more grandchildren, we could bring people in, yes. but Albert is a shovel. Yes. <laughs> and Dutch <laughs> Cinnamon Buns watches Enraptured. And, uh, <laughs> and Toasty Cinnamon Buns like, what a great play! <laughs> oh, it's so heartwarming! Yeah, but well, kind of sad. It's supposed to be sad. <laughs> like, only sad. No, but they end up with a kid at the end, if you pay attention. Oh, oh I guess you're right. <laughs> it's only sad if it doesn't happen. Exactly. <laughs> I understand what's happening. You've got the whole gist. Moped, ready now. <laughs> ah, this thing keeps trying to taste me. That's, that's fine. We've got something for him to taste now. Something very delicious made of gingerbread. Oh. Ooh, get over here. Shit. Eat this cookie. All right, hold on. Well, don't eat it. Just <laughs> don't kind eat of it. absorb just, just, a very particular part of yeah. it. The roll. Is Toasty making the roll or is Amy, is Dabarella making the roll? There will be two rolls, one for Toasty and one for whomever is going to try to release Toasty from the grasp. Okay, Toasty's yeah, roll will determine how easy it is to remove him from the grasp. Okay, but inspiration time. Toasty, okay. we haven't known each other very long, but I get a good feeling from you. <laughs> Maybe it's the smell. It reminds me of mum's cooking. Aww. And you've got this, okay? You're a strong-willed little biscuit. I am! And we all believe in you! (laughs) Yes! I'm so strong! Ah. And Dabarella, you gotta concentrate, okay? We're all counting on you. This is for everyone, this is for Albert, this is for all your friends. (laughs) And if everything goes well, we all leave here absolutely happy. We, you have proved yourself time and time again, and you're gonna do it again. Cause you're our friend, and (laughs) we love you. (laughs) <laughs> and we're all working together on this. You just have to do your part. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can bullshit with the best of them, can't I? <laughs> Says Mortimer in his head. Yeah. <laughs> and so that's uh, a Bardic for Dab as well? Yep, two okay. Bardic die, one, one each. Devrella oh, will cast, mm. will pop a hand on Toasty before doing this to cast Guidance on Toasty um, to say, I believe in you. Wow. <laughs> I feel so special! Oh! Everyone believes in toasty cinnamon buns! Ooh! I feel like such a hero! You, sh- you are! You sure are! Toasty cinnamon buns to the rescue! Oh. Okay, I guess we're as ready as we'll ever be. Yep. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, Amy. What am I rolling? Please come here to the very special (laughs) dice roller. This is quite literally about to make or break a character. So the first thing that I need from you is a, uh, is four toasty cinnamon buns. A wisdom saving throw to see if toasty cinnamon buns can kind of keep themselves separate from the memories that are being drained. Oh, yes! Oh. Plus two? Plus two. That's 19. 19. What was the number 18? Yeah, we're going to the number 18. Minimum, I get. Okay. 
Plus. <laughs> okay. Yeah, literally. Nice. So, um, as as All right. uh, without knowing <laughs> if this passed or failed, I will use flash of genius and okay. add five to that. Oh, oh. Mm. twenty-five. Mm. Bitch. Mm. We all love toasty. Yeah. So you all love, love toasty. toasty. So uh, you know, like Oob uh, pops up and starts like, "You're so tasty. Oh, thank you." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you definitely notice, like Toasty Cinema Bin Bun, just being like, "I remember that puppet show. I sure do." <laughs> oh. I don't remember the puppet show anymore. That's, it. That's, That's weird. It. Pull it off, pull it out, pull no, it out. No, no. <laughs> okay, so Dabarella, I will allow a lot of bullshit here for how you remove toasty cinnamon buns. Is there a special way you want to flavor this? This is yeah. an ability check. If yeah. you get too low in this ability check, toasty cinnamon buns will lose intelligence permanently. <laughs> use the inspiration. Whatever happens, use the bardic inspiration. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Could one of us watching this also gauge that time to tell her now? Toasty has said now. Yeah. I would like. Well, Toasty has said, I don't remember the puppet show anymore. And everyone else in unison went now. <laughs> yeah. Am I able to roll strength with the idea of it being a simultaneous knock of the barrel and a tug of toasty. Absolutely. Like, would the perception thing and us yelling help, I mean, now help her? Like, would that add anything that is to going to That is going to lower my DC. Okay. <sighs> yes. I'm, I'm not going to give you advantage on it. Okay. I'm going to lower my DC because everyone is working together. Because I would like to very gently pull toast from my end, but like push. You are using strength here, so I'm gonna I'm say you're aware. gonna hold on to Toasty and like smack Oob away. If you are using strength, and you no, have to use strength. Problem. You got you got high dex too, though, right? Yeah, it's I it's just lower than strength. Two on dex, but because dex would probably let you do what you're saying with like the more finesse. Probably move. more of a dex move. Yeah, let's let's dex it. This goes to our very special character breaking moment. Thanks, Dice Envy, for being oh our gosh. exclusive Dice sponsor. Toasty Cinnamon Buns might be Toasty Cinnamon Dumbs real soon. <laughs> 13. 13. Bardic Inspiration. Okay, Bardic Inspiration. Eight. Plus eight. Yes. Plus, Plus two, two is 23. And I'm going to cheer you on, let you know. I'm going to spend another flash of genius just to make sure. So that's another plus five on that. 28. How, how many Flash of Geniuses do you It's have? like five. <laughs> so you you have used a lot of superpowers here. Yeah. Um, so you, uh, with the dexterity of a uh, of uh, one of those people who, have you ever seen like the finger dancers? Yes. Who, like do yeah. all the like crazy finger stuff. With the dexterity, that is quite near impossible. <laughs> You grab toasty cinnamon buns, and he goes, "That was weird." <laughs> but I'm here now. Where was I before? Ooh, don't worry, I'm still just as smart. <laughs> yeah. Jabberella yeah. just goes, "I'm really glad you're here," and hugs him. Oh, me too. Why did you call me? <laughs> Just to tell you that you're doing a great job and that I just really appreciate having you as a friend. Oh, woohoo! <laughs> okay, go great feed daddy. Great work. Thanks, Good job. Everyone. That was a great job all around. Yeah. So Oob goes. <gasps> Hi! Hi, Oob. My name's Oob Toasty Cinnamon Bun. <laughs> oh, that's a great that's name. Interesting. That sound, that's fascinating. Why don't you go and tell Daddy about that? <gasps> Daddy's here. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> yes! So Oob uh, heads this way and... Uh, mm. I can't reach the door handle and so uh, uh, it's Can, like... Do you want I, yeah, I think Mark opens the door for him. Okay. How's, uh, how's Betty feeling about all this? <laughs> Betty is freaked the fuck out. <laughs> um, uh, Mortal whispers to Betty, if this works, you need to be holding the shovel and looking sad, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, Betty is there holding. Albert is like, Albert, I know you're in there. and I know you can hear me, but I really hope you come out of this and 
maybe we can start our life together. And Oob uh, Cinnamon Toasty Buns uh, goes up to Latavia and says, Daddy! And, oh, you have a new memory for me? Hmm. Uh, and uh, takes it in. So now we need a few... We, we, we need so much luck here. Okay. <laughs> uh, performance wasn't super great. I rolled uh, a bit of an intelligence check for Latavia. Uh -huh. I, I imagine he has quite high intelligence. <sighs> he does. It doesn't matter if you roll a natural one. Hey! Hey! Oh, realistic so... illusion. Wow. <laughs> 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 That's the second yeah, time. <laughs> that is the second time my big bad has been spoiled <laughs> by a natural one. We have physical proof as we have physical <laughs> dice. Thanks to Dice Envy. Thanks, Dice Envy. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate you. Latavia, you know, once again kind of wraps around Oob Cinnamon Toasty Buns, and you just see, like, oh. <laughs> I could have a family here. Looks over to Betty, looks to all of you like, a grandchild. <gasps> yes. Yes. Uh, and he throws uh, Ub, uh, you know, kind of to the side, like. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Oh, 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 he's, he's losing this way. Where's he going? Oh, he's slipping through the door. <laughs> and like the, the, the oozy mask kind of like thunks through the door. Huh. Betty, go with him. Where is he going? Ah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Get out of the way, Moped. Yeah, oh, there's a big old thing over here. Shit. Okay, we're chasing after him. Betty! Yeah, chasing him. <laughs> what's going Betty, keep on? Up. Betty, what's happening? I don't know. I don't know where he's going. Well, come with Albert. So Latavia uh, starts tearing down the hallways uh, past the main entrance and uh, over to this side of the hallway and just... <laughs> Just moving with a, a speed that is uh, frankly unnerving uh, to <laughs> all of you. Anyone play uh, Carrion? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Betty is all with you. Betty, Albert, Moped, uh, they're all with you. Oob Florentine stayed in the room because it's Oob. And so uh, he makes his way into this space over here. What you see is a room full of kind of... A generic looking magical <clears throat> artifacts and you know Betty runs in there and is like father what what are you doing in here this is just a study what what are you doing in here and, and he's like I could have a grandchild uh, and you see uh, him reach into uh, the mirror and mm. do some doobly doos <laughs> uh, this was a puzzle that uh, would have been awesome if you guys would have figured out but don't worry about it <laughs> you go in this room I know <laughs> That's fair. Other stuff happened. Uh, but what happens is... A secret passage opens up! Hey. Oh. So once again, oh. we found a secret passage that yeah, we, we didn't actually <laughs> find. I know! <laughs> I know! Once again, we persuade our way into a secret yeah. passage. Yes, that's the only thing you do here. It's the only good thing you someone do someone else here. can do it for you. Exactly. <laughs> Great. Uh, so yes, uh, the, uh, a secret door unlocks uh, because of a really neat uh, mirror puzzle <laughs> that I'll explain to you later. Uh, it was really fun uh, to build. Uh, and he just <laughs> swoops in here and uh, grabs up uh, a magical staff and you see this is a a long wooden staff with uh, something uh, that is akin to a like a, a petrified frog on the end oh. and he he goes uh, he goes up to uh, oh Dabrell, you're right there and he's where is Albert oh oh up uh, uh, he's over there Betty's right. got him uh, oh okay so he he crosses uh, crosses the room and says I didn't see that far. I only saw you leaving me. I saw you breaking family again. I didn't... God, I hope Albert's on board with this. No, <laughs> we, we could to normal. add to the family place Albert on the floor. And Betty says, oh, yes, father, yes, father. 
She places Albert on the floor and he takes uh, this magical staff uh, and uh, says some arcane words and the staff glows with power, uh, bathing Albert the shovel in radiant energy. We've been waiting for this one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Very excited. Hey! Oh! He real! All of a sudden, uh, wearing a, a very similar uniform, something Sigmar would uh, recognize as a, a, a military uniform uh, from, the, from a certain regime of Asimar warriors, uh, stands up Albert, the now aged Asimar warrior. Albert, it's Albert. Are you? Dad really just goes, it's Albert! Uh, and Albert, you know, slowly uh, gets up. <sighs> Thank you. And he looks up, Betty. I've been a shovel for way too long. <laughs> Albert! <laughs> Moped. <laughs> My man. <laughs> <laughs> Deborah is just sobbing, like just seeing this like reunion of friends. Like she's never witnessed anything like that, and that is just too much for her little heart. Like she is overwhelmed. Oh, well, we kept our promise. You did. Yeah. You did. You got my Albert back, Albert. I thought I thought the witch turned you, but it would turn out to be her dad or some. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> It's, oh, Pad, you've been a good friend. You, you kept me, you kept me going all these years. You know, telling me stories and you know making me hit birds and stuff. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. He would, he would smack the birds, and steal their eggs and stuff. Oh, oh man, well, yeah, we know. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for the help against the assassin, now, but when you like embedded yourself into their leg, you know, <laughs> there's not a lot I could do <laughs> as a shovel, but moped. You kept me in the fight the whole time, Moped. You, you've been a true friend. Oh, Albert, you, you know I'm, I'm always there for you. You, you, you go over to Betty. You, you make your peace over there, Betty. <laughs> oh, he, he comes over here and he's just like, Albert, my oh, man, <laughs> <laughs> Betty. I, I know it wasn't you. I, I came here to, I came here to ask your father for permission to marry you and. Motherfucker, turn me into a shovel. <laughs> yes, well, the past the past. <laughs> I don't know if it is quite my, my life. Hold on, I've been a shovel for several years now. For, you know, my, more and more, I appreciate it, but, but Albert Heatherford number putts does not quit when he makes a promise to a lady. Betty, if you would still be mine, I'd take you. Oh, oh, Albert, of course I would. Oh. <laughs> What a happy ending. Well, it's not quite over yet. No, no. 